Realizing the necessity of replacing the aging MiG-21s and understanding the concerns of Indian Air Force and its alarming depleting fighter squadron numbers, in 1984, the Indian government established the Aeronautical Development Agency to pilot the Light Combat Aircraft Program along with Hindustan Aeronautics Limited as the principal partner. The dream of achieving self-reliance in manufacturing a fighter aircraft had got wings, but there was no scarcity of doubts on the project being successful. However, the program was affluently backed by the Air Chief Marshal Idris Latif having all the odds against him. During that time, MiG-21 aircraft was still under license production and the Jaguar was also contracted for. The Air Chief gave his full support and the most crucial hurdle was crossed. However, till October 1985, Indian Air Force had not provided their formal requirement to ADA or any other government body. This delay, though adds into the infamous 30-year duration for the aircraft development, from the Air Force provided ample amount of time for ADA to design, identify, analyze, and establish the institutions to formulate in-house concepts and to evolve as a matured development agency capable of delivering India's first fighter aircraft. Upon receiving the requirement from the Indian Air Force, without much delay, the next major boost to the indigenous fighter aircraft program came on January 7, 1986 at a conference room in South Block. Chiefs of the three forces, Ministers of State for Defense and Defense Production, three secretaries in the Defense Ministry, the Chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, top-notch scientists and high-level functionaries were part of the meeting in which, the then Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi was briefed with a presentation on the weapon systems for the future. During the course of the presentation, scientists of Defense Research and Development Organization unveiled the blueprint to design and develop an indigenous and technically advanced fighter aircraft required to replace the aging MiG-21 squadrons and achieve self-reliance in combat aircraft manufacturing. Till then, progress of the fighter aircraft program had halted for five years and had been the debated topic, can India design and develop its own fighter aircraft? Can it do without any external technological aid? Does India has the resources and technology to fly its own fighter aircraft? Will India proceed to develop its own combat aircraft even after the sanctions? When the majority of the industry experts and other nations continued to have their discussions and raised questions on the project, a presentation at South Block had answered many. We are going for a tailless Delta Wing, the then scientific advisor to the Defense Ministry, Dr. V. Varas Arunachalam said that while addressing to the media. As the designers had produced a viable design for the LCA, it was all green for the project. Dr. Kota Haranarayana, who was the program director of light combat aircraft stated, the LCA will be a reality. There's not an iota of doubt about that. Dr. Kota's first hurdle was to scout for the best talent in the field of aerospace engineering within the country and bring them together. Even though HAL had manufactured fighter aircraft, Merat, it was designed by a German team led by Kurt Tank. To mitigate this void, best talents from the IITs and R&D laboratories of HAL and CSIR were recruited. Within a year, a team of 400 engineers and scientists were part of ADA. The next obstacle for the team was that it did not possess a suitable computer to carry out the designing of the fighter aircraft. To cater to the requirements of ADA, the Indian government convinced Washington to provide the IBM 390 computer. It was followed by the procurement of computer-aided three-dimensional interactive application, a computer-aided design software developed by Dessau for ADA. Sanctions imposed on India by Western nations were proving to be too expensive for the project, when it had a rough time to procure electronic components. However, these sanctions, made the team more determined to design and develop each raw material for the aircraft from scratch. Though it was time-consuming, it was never late than before to realize the capability in achieving self-reliance in the decorated sector. In 1987, project definition commenced with Dassault Brigade Aviation of France as consultants. The consultation was mainly focused on design and system integration of the aircraft. It was reported that more than 30 top flight engineers from France were in India as technical advisors to International Aircraft Dealers Association and in September 1988, the project definition phase was completed. In May 1989, a review committee was formed to check on the potential of project preparedness and delivery, 
for which the committee reported that the technologies, facilities and infrastructure in India had advanced sufficiently in majority of sectors to carry out the project effectively. Based on the report and with inputs of industry experts and scientists, a two-stage full-scale engineering development process was opted. In 1990, unlike the other aircraft of the class, the team finalized a tailless Delta Wing aircraft with relaxed static stability for enhanced maneuverability using the control configured vehicle concept. In February 1991, Cabinet Committee on Political Affairs approved in principle, execution of the LCA project in two full-scale engineering development phases. FSED Phase 1 was intended for building and limited flight testing of two LCA technology demonstrator, TD-1 and TD-2, aircraft to demonstrate confidence levels in critical technologies through 210 hours of test flying and parallel development of other technologies and proving them on ground rig slash flying test beds. FSED Phase 2 was intended for building further five prototypes and integration of other technologies developed in parallel in Phase 1, integration of Kaveri engine, flight testing and weapon integration to achieve initial operational clearance and final operational clearance. The project also became a cementing force between industry and research institutes. Companies that could produce components were identified. ADA developed the electrical components in-house, which were being imported earlier and supported local companies to manufacture them. The rights to the intellectual property were handed over to the companies to make production commercially viable. All core technologies were designed, developed and built in India itself. In January 2001, the small tailless Delta Wing prototype was finally completed and was ready for testing. Wing Commander Rajiv Kothil successfully flew the first flight of the light combat aircraft prototype technology demonstrator TD-1. In May 2003, at a ceremony in Bengaluru, the then Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee witnessed the flying display of two prototypes of light combat aircraft, TD-1 and TD-2, and while addressing to the media he stated, I am confident that this world-class fighting machine will make a glorious contribution to the nation's defense. May it bring glory to our aerospace industry. We are happy to name it as Tejas.